Hello. This time we're going to show you how to cut a background in non-white, how to cut a picture in non-white background. So, because in uh, I see so, I have seen some uh, comments in some videos where uh, some people say that well, come on guys, he's cutting the picture in white background, background or I don't know what. So, all the point of this tutorial is to make you understand that white background or not, they are the same because the tutorials are you are going to, all the tutorials are going to show you is just the way you are going to do it and just the concept and not how you are going to make how you are going to do all the job because that's that's impossible so all uh, they all we can show you with those tutorials because nobody's the perfect expert is just to show you how in which way you can make it easily and you can make your job done very very easy so here we have a photography in non-white background there is a bluer background with green and some other colors so the first place and the first you gotta do in to, to cut a, uh, photography is just to make a good selection uh, in Photoshop you can make it in many ways not only in one way uh, there are so many tools there are quick selection tool magic tool uh, uh, there are I don't know there are a whole bunch of tools there, there is a pen tool there is a, a cro uh, sl not slice tool there is a lasso tool a polygonal lasso tool magnetic lasso tool there are there is not only one way. The Photoshop uh, software is the most advanced software to edit your photography, and I think it's the best on, on, in the world. There is no only one way to make a thing. You can make the same thing in, I don't know, maybe in 20 ways. You have all these tools with optional uh, functions, and you can make everything like. For example, your magnetic lasso tool. If you come here with your magnetic lasso tool, if you see uh, this software, as you come here, this software reads the edges and it goes right in the edge, right inside. So, no, please. Let's make uh, Let's make something greater yes if you see here we come here even here in this background which is not white your magnetic laser tool is doing a pretty pretty good job automatically very very easy I don't know I have gone away this it's my fault As you see here, automatically, this tool can make your job done very, very easy. All you got to do now is to go at your uh, uh, quick selection tool and just correct some lines here and there where you have your uh, your mistakes, where you have done your mistakes and, and this, uh, no, back. And that's all done. Well, back, 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 back. After this, uh, in non background, in non white background, in difficult backgrounds, you can use your refine edge tool just to, in case, make a copy of your background copy. And you can use your refine edge tool just to refine better your edges and to make it greater so all you gotta do now you can you can work with this in overlay in matching ants in your overlay on black on white black and white 
just to see better like king like king style on layers or preview layer in the layer all we got to do now just is to compare this uh, to compare the the matches for example if you if you if you put another background here i don't know what to mean just a minute just a minute just a minute just a minute Uh, for example, we are putting now uh, this background in that photography. That's the simplest one, but all what you gotta do, all we gotta do is just to show you how it works and how easy it is to make it happen. Come on. Well, internet sucks. It's not better. Well, let's use this one. Well, all we got to do now is just, uh, well, we have made our selection and just say place. Let's go at our data D. Uh, epsilon, uh, motion tracks, not motion tracks, we don't need motion tracks, we need, we are not making the GIF here, we are making textures, uh, yes, let's pick a texture, for example, or motion tracks, Well, now we got a black oops, awful apple, able wallpapers. Uh, let's say we are gonna put this girl in able wallpaper. Why not? Why not? And uh, just we gotta scale this layer just to make it greater. No, all you gotta do is to go at your before it and uh, to make your selection correctly you can make it with any tool you like as we say you have many many tools there but in this case, in this case we are going to work with magic tool quick selection tool not magic tool yes Let's go up, refine edge. You can reveal a layer, as we say, you can on black, matching ants. And uh, I prefer to work in overlay. Well, that's better for me. I have learned this way. So you can play with your reddish, find your edges in the way you like, and all you gotta do now is to refine your edges better and with your refine edge tool and and uh, I think we have here a pretty good selection I think Let's see how it looks in black, for example. Uh, smart values. Let's see another bit. Another bit. Just to disappear the screens. We don't need them. That contaminate colors. Now this is to keep your colors. Uh, contrast. You can play even with your contrast. To make your work done better. And No, 
auch Reduce Right. Shift Edge. Shift Edge. Yes, here we are. Your feather. You can play with all of these tools here inside and to find just your angle. Because from photography to photography it changes. It's not the same. Uh, well, you can play with your smooth, your feather. No, we don't need them. This can bounce. So all you gotta do is to put your new layer with the layer mask. And now we are in the second background, in Apple background. So this was our first photography. Okay, and we put there in our Apple background. Here is first, here is before. So we cut our photography in non-white background, so that's very very easy to do. Uh, all you gotta do that to understand that in the tutorials you are not gonna learn all your things, but you are gonna get the concept how this software works, so you can make your experiments more easy for you and uh, more understandable, so you are gonna understand better and you are going to find your own way to work with this software and to make your work done just pretty pretty easy that is and you can use the software for your photographies for your web designs for your everything because photoshop is for everything has has connections with uh, the design of the image for web designs, for photographies, for websites, you can make everything but everything inside. So if, if you have an, an, some plugins uh, installed as, I don't know, for web designs or everything, even if you are a beginner, if you are a first, first beginner, uh, in very, very small time, small time uh, little, uh, very, very, uh, uh, very very fast you are gonna learn how this software uh, works and how easy can be for you to make your works or make your I don't know your customizations or everything you like and just to have your advantage in your designs to, to keep to keep it uh, to keep your designs up to date with your modern graphics very very easy so thank you very much and goodbye